Okay, if I can catch those on the tournament day, it's gonna be nice. Real big, I'd say three and a half pounder. Okay, we're gonna let him go. That's a nice one, big one. Real big. Go. There we go. Cranberry. That's the color. We made it all the way to Coralville. Uh, We'll see if we can catch a few fish. There's a bunch of bait fish around. I came here in practice. I got one. I didn't say they hook them. Probably two, three. So we'll see what happens. In the name of Jesus. Let's get him. I got purple down, so. This water is muddy today, so it maybe makes a little different. Maybe no, maybe it helps. Because I don't like fish clear water. We'll see. We'll see. I got one small mouth today, good one. Conditions yesterday was different. Uh, I forgot I forgot to put the camera on, so there it is, okay? We're gonna catch a couple more. We're gonna catch a few more. <clears throat> Thanks, sweet Jesus. Boom, huh? Yeah. Closest thing I got to this. I don't know how big it is. Feels good. Oops. I think I got it on the side. Oh, yes. Oops. It's a good large mouth. It's a good large mouth. Thank you, sweet Jesus. That's the second one. Number two. Yes, number two. Oh. Come down, come down, Miko. I ain't gonna eat you. Oh, I got it on his kilt. Swim with big. We got two fish today. You go? Okay. I forgot to bring my undo. Oh, there you go. Double. Yours is bigger. <laughs> I don't know. Double. Thank you, sweet Jesus. We got double. I don't know. Come down. I hope you keep. They here, buddy. They swimming around here. Oh yeah. Sixteen. There we go. Got it? Yeah. Good job, buddy. You. Tell you brother, we're gonna get him over here. Don't come off, please. Can you even move this left now? No, you're okay. You good. You good, you good. Flip it in the bowl. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Got another one. <laughs> You're not gonna get me. I got you. Okay, never mind. Come down, big brother. Calm down. Now you got the hooks. Oh yeah, here's the skipper. I'm gonna put this marker. That's the little one I got. We're gonna call fish today, guys. We got four. We got four. I need one more to catch my limit. And hunt for the big ones. Hunt for the big ones.
man, I got my, I got me with the hook. That hurt. Don't ever do it. No. Now it's a large one. It's a large one, but I don't think it'd be a keeper. I don't think he'll be a keeper, no. Oh, he's long and skinny. He's long and skinny like me. <laughs> Now he'll be like 13 inches. Man, you need to eat some more chimichangas to grow big. Yeah, 14. Back home. Go back home. He needs to eat some more chimichangas, amigo. You got one? Well, look at here, we found something. That's a good one, right? I think so, yeah. Lay down, buddy. That might be a call. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I told you, you be on top 10, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you. I got eight pound line. Oh, be easy, be easy, be easy, be easy. Yeah, be easy. Got it. Your body. I'd say that's a call up, huh? <laughs> yes, sir, it is. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Do I if I use that call tag again? No, 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 no. Just whatever you need, my friend. Sorry, I feel like I gotta ask every time. Yeah, no, you don't have to, buddy. I can't get another one, so they bind. I need one more for my limit. Close your boca. Yes, sir, there is. I got it. Keeper. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Blue one in. Oh yeah, I got some more. You didn't you didn't keep that one no problem. I told you there's a lot of fish around here. Let's keep looking for the big ends. <sighs> My line is so weird. Smoked it. Yeah. Smoked it and choked it. He choked it. Yep, he really wants it. Hermilo Salgado. Hermilo's got five. Well done. Five fish, 10 pounds, 10 ounces, 10, 10. Thank you, sir. Dawson Wisner, Green Cove Springs, Florida. 215 on day number one, three. Well, amigos, make it back uh, home. We will make it back there. Two amigos, safe. It was uh, two days fishing, Cherokee Lake, tough day. Uh, the first day, it was bad. The wind blows so hard. You see it probably in this video, right? The water was real muddy, the place I fish. I went back to this, today, I mean, the second day, I went back over there. I catch 10 pounds. Uh, got my limit, my co-angler, he's in sixth place, I guess. We do pretty good. I mean, I did bad the first day, but well, I make it back home and 
I come straight to two amigos and look what I got. Pues, I got some grilled chicken, rice beans, some Mexican sausage, big bowl of cheese D, and a bunch of jalapenos with some lemon. My wife has a pollo loco. Okay, so I'm blessed. Follow me, YouTube channel, remember, fishing with me, lo. Hola, hola amigos, hola. Um, I'll make it back home after a few days fishing. One of my favorite lakes, because I mean, I start, but I started bass fishing about six years ago. This is my sixth year, absolutely. Uh, and when me and my boy, uh, Jose, we start fishing, we start bus fishing, we start in uh, uh, Cherokee. The first, first tournament, it was in Cherokee. And that's when we start bus fishing anyways. Well, so I make it back home safe, and it's, uh, I'm real happy. I know it. I didn't do any good in Cherokee. I didn't do the way I wanted. The, the first day was real tough. My place, the, the place I fish, the, the water was real muddy. You didn't see in the video. And uh, well, the second day I went back over there, <clears throat> and I catch him in some fish. Me and my co angler, he, I mean, he got good limit. He made I think the top six uh, the second day, and he makes the cut. And I think he finished six, and that's pretty good. You know, I, I didn't get to fish just the third day because I didn't do well the first day. Well, the first day it really hurt me because I went to my place and the water's. The water was muddy, and I want to run down to the lake and trying to catch him a small mouth. But normally, the way I catch my small mouth, I use like finesse uh, fishing rod, you know, like six pound line. Uh, I like to throw some uh, small, small uh, swim bait, and I don't have a, a spinner reel or spinner rod. Why? Wow. When we blast off. The uh, condition was really rough. The water, man, bigger weight. The wind blows a little hard. And I don't know, I'm making a mistake because uh, I didn't close good one of my, uh, say, me little, what is it called in the back of the boat? Storage compartment? Yeah, storage compartment. So when I was running, I heard something pops, you know, like a noise, boom. So I turned around, I was going this way, and it was rain. I mean, a lot of rain. I turned around and looked and said, what happened? Well, I slowed down, I stopped, and closed that little compartment. And I keep going all the way to the river. When I stopped over there in the river, and I didn't catch no fish, I said, well, I have to go and fish clear water. I'm trying to catch them a small mouth. So, when I look my rods, I got two spin the real rods. I don't have a co-angler the first day. So I put my rods on, on the, normally what they call angler put, hams. And I look around and I was like trying to get one of my fishing rod and I say, wow, it's broke. And absolutely it was my top water too. And I was, well, I got another one. So I have to switch reels because I want to use six pound line. I have to switch reel. And I did. <clears throat> I got six pound line. I said, this is going to be good. So I tied me one of those little bitty, uh, Swim baits, and I start looking at my graph and say, Oh, there's some nice fish normally in places I catch them good smallmouth. And I turn around, I look, I throw a bullet, and I say, I know where the fish is, they about 15 foot deep. So, my first cast, my other rod broke down, and I was like, Okay, I know what happens. So, I start throwing jigs, I just, I'm trying to go, I mean, um, uh, I try to go finesse, but I don't have a fishing rod to go finesse. So I start throwing jigs, crank baits, and I didn't get no bites. And normally, in other places, I normally fish. The wind blows so hard, and I got big. I mean, I catch a couple, but nothing big. So I got big zero. Okay, but I say, well, Cherokee Lake is like, like everybody says, it's my home lake. I live in Kentucky, but I fish Cherokee all the time because that's when I start fishing, bass fishing. And I was like, I don't want to go zero. So, after around seven, eight, I looked the wind, slowed down, and the place I normally fish got like a little creek, the water's coming in, and I said, well, I know tomorrow the water's gonna be good. 
it won't be a probably clear but it's gonna have a good color so I run straight back to the same place okay I say my second cast I catch one small mouth good one as soon as I catch that one I say they'll be here on practice <clears throat> I find a lot of fish over there and there was some big ones I lost one I lost one big and like four pounder in the first day and I lost one big small mouth too on a spook you see him in the video I threw a lot of spook over there well that's okay I'm saying I know I'm gonna catch it here around I did catch my limit Michael Angler catches limit I got 10 pounds but what really hurt me was the first day but like I say I never give up and I won't complain I'm happy I'll make it back home I'm so happy guys and I want to share with you something I always trying to give a little testimony about my life when I started bass fishing six years ago okay I didn't know nothing about fishing and me and my boys still remember Jose they laughing about me because I didn't know what nothing nothing all the way through a Zinco white root Zinco and a spinnerbait that's it and I don't know what fluorocarbon line is braid line is I just go to Walmart buy my fishing rod and <clears throat> the way it comes the combo I just put my Zinco and go flip every tree and that's it that's all I do before so I didn't know nothing right and uh like you can see, I got some, uh, all those things over there, there's a, uh, how do you say, Milo, there's a... Trick stops. Yeah, all them, okay? I was, I was fishing bass, I was fishing BFLs, <coughs> FLW, and I was fishing uh, ABA. Well, my first year bass fishing, I didn't do no good, but I started, um, go out around fishing with a bunch of people, a bunch of guys. So they, they told me some kind of techniques and I really love fishing, amigos. I waste a lot of time in my life doing bad things, being a bad person. So I start coming to church, I start getting close to God and my life changed completely, okay? Why? Because look now, I got some trophies, okay? I'm not a rich person like I say, I'm not a rich person. I grew up poor and I'm still poor. Every time we make money fishing, me and my son, we give it away to a poor people, to people's really need, or we give it away like we got some, uh, we got three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars right now. We want some money on this uh, fishing like a uh, club tournaments. We want some more money, okay? We want some tournaments and we give it away like uh, when we know some guy, uh, persons need some help. We do it on the name of Jesus, okay? So this money we got here, we're gonna donate part to uh, San Jude, the hospital, the kids' hospital. And another half of uh, the other money, we're gonna give it to a Wonder Warrior. What is the name? Wonder Warriors. Wonder Warriors, okay, for our heroes. We're gonna, we support, I normally send some money to them anyways, uh, but we're gonna send some more. It's like I say, amigos, on the name of Jesus. After a year, when, when I started fishing, a year after, okay, I came to, uh, Gunnersville, never fished Gunnersville before. I never fished grass. So I just signed in because I want to learn something else. <coughs> and I don't have no practice. Just put my boat in the water and I was boat number one. And I was like, what am I going to be doing? <laughs> and they told me we're going to fish grass. And I was like, grass? I don't know what it means, Hadrilla, okay? I got 15 pound line and all my fishing rods. And I only got one with the braid, the one I throw my boss bait. I said, okay. We blast off. I was boat number one. I just go from goosebound to the frost ledge. You see, as soon as you go out from goosebound, and I see a lot of grass. I said, well, I told my co angler, a friend of mine, I say, we're gonna stay here. And I was thinking, I wanna see where everybody goes. If they go up the river, down the lake, so I just gonna move around somewhere. So, well, I start fishing over there. And after everybody goes, I look, a little fish jump everywhere, and I was like, hey, fish. And I was throwing a race tail, just with a little bitty sinker, flipping this uh, hydrilla. And I didn't even good, so I put my boss bait, and I'm still got it over there on that crappie. I put that thing, and I make a cast, and I start drilling in. Boom, a big fish. I got it, almost a nine pounder. Okay, so I was like, I got scared because I never catch one fish like that before, a big one. 
So I put it in the boat and I was shaking like this. I said, wow, that's a big fish. So after that, I started throw a little bit of uh, skinny dipper on 15 pound line, fluorocarbon, okay? So I just make a cast and I start reeling it in the slow and the wind blows a little bit. And I start reeling it slow and I just feel like a little din, din, din. Fluorocarbon is good, you can feel everything. So I set the hook, when I set the hook, that thing goes like, he pulls me hard. So I started using my trolley motor guns close to him, and I saw, oh, there's another big one. Well, I got three good ones and two just keepers, amigos. So that surprise is I never fished grass before, so I tried to move different place looking for some more big ones, and I start my motor, and my engine makes a beep, a noise, beep, 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 and, and I try to run, and that thing don't go fast because it's got a grass in the engine in the motor and I don't know how you have to put it on reverse and clean it I don't know how it's explain to you my English is kind of funny but well I was like no way to go nowhere we're gonna stay pretty close here and we're going through the way in using this trolley motor because I had it, I told I got some issues with my motor okay so I started using my trolley motor going through the way in and I was first boat pulling over there and they middle what's wrong I quit I got some problems with my motor okay you want to weigh your fish sure take it to the weigh-in and it was really surprised okay because I got over 20 pounds it was in September so everybody I was coming weighing fish with 12 13 pounds and after many we was uh me and my wife my family was waiting over there and they called my name okay Milo Salgado you won the first place so I got a nice trophy. Look at here. American Bass Anglers. Okay. So that gave me a real exciter. I got these and I got a check. It has to be somewhere. Well, the check is going. <laughs> the money is going. But I got real, real, I mean, exciter because that was my first big tournament ever won in one year. Okay, bass fishing. So after that, I went back and fished and one a big fish 997 it was a big fish okay i got it on a g same place gondersfield different i know different place i mean in, in the lake it was in a uh, sable creek uh silent creek some, something like that so we went and fish and uh i won 500 dollars on the big fish and this uh trophy so i got in i say thank you good lord because you put me on this beautiful sport. I got an ABA uh, trophy. I got a FLW, BFL. So I'm working so hard to win one of those bass opens. I gotta work hard to do it. I gotta fade and I, I gotta fade. And I trust in the Lord, he's gonna help me one day. I don't wanna say I'll be fishing the leads, but I'm gonna work so hard for it, that's my dream. And nothing is impossible in this world, okay? You have to work for nothing is impossible. But just remember something. Everything you do, you have to do in the name of God, in the name of Jesus. Nothing is going to be impossible. I know I, I, I've i been fishing uh, six years. Like I say, I don't have nobody teaching me. I just look a bunch of shows. I'm looking uh the YouTube right now. I'm learning a little bit with this guy. Okay? Fishing with Milo, he's kind of showing me some things around. So <laughs> I want to learn Milo behind the cameras. And guys, if you really want to enjoy your life, go fish. Don't destroy your life doing drugs, nothing like that. As your life is gonna be better. Okay, one day I'm gonna share all the testimony of my life. But right now, I'll just share what I've been doing, what I mean, how blessed I am. Like I say, I'm not a rich person. You know, everybody knows me. Uh, I got my business. Two amigos, thank you so much, all my customers. Thank you so much, all my customers. Watch my YouTube channel. I got my buddy, uh, Jason. My buddy, Jason uh, Smith and his family, they come uh, the other day to two amigos and they say, man, when you gonna put your next uh, video on, on YouTube? I say, I'm working on it. So I was trying to work so hard on Cherokee. It's a pretty good show for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my boy Milo, he just learning how to do a edit the videos, so he's not really good. I'm sorry, he's behind the cameras, like I say. But we we're gonna try 
so hard, amigos, to keep you happy back at home. I want to say hi, and I want to say thanks for all your support. I got a bunch of messages. Um, I know all your support. You want me to do good in Cherokee. I finished, I think, 63. I mean, I did really good because the first day, I was zero. So I go way up, 63, no bad for me. I wish I can do better, but uh, I've been fishing Cherokee a lot, night time. It's way different, okay? Two weeks ago, we fished the BFL. I finished 12, and I don't get no practice. I just want to put the boat in the water and go fish. And I catch, pro I call probably, I don't know, but I call a big small mouth, but you're only allowed to weigh in one small mouth, 18 inch. So <clears throat> the second day, I make the cut, the second day, I want to go up the river, catch a uh, large mouth. But they, we blast off around almost 10, I guess. They caught like two hours because it was foggy. So I stay down the lake. I know where the small mouth live, but it's it's hard. Right now the water is too clear. The fishing with the 17 or 15 pound line, you have to go finesse. So I didn't do it. But well, I made the top 12 this time. Don't make too good. But I want to appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for following me on my YouTube channel. Okay, fishing with Milo, and one day you're gonna see a big trophy over here. Okay, another one, you're gonna see a big trophy. And my winning is gonna be for my good Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, it's gonna be a bass. And I gonna work so hard, like I say, to fish one of those, I mean, years to fish professional, probably FLW tour, probably bass, uh, elites. I'm gonna work so hard. So um, I'm real excited. I got four kids, and uh, well, my boy Jose, he used to fish with me. Absolutely, he was fishing for, I say, four, three years. Then he just quit because he's gonna be a daddy and he say he wants to spend time with his girl. He's gonna have a little girl. I'll be a grandpa probably tomorrow, probably tonight. I don't know. And I'll be a grandpa. And I'm so excited, blessed. So he give up, he quit fishing, and Milo, that's his first year bass fishing. He started fishing with me. I, like I say, he's behind the cameras. And I'm so excited because I really want to have somebody like me go fish, you know. I, I want to feel. And I'm so proud of, of my boy Milo because we fished nearly Henry last week. And he, he finished 19, okay? He finished 19. So that's, I was really surprised. Let me tell you why, why amigos. Because I talked to a bunch of guys over there. And I told him, uh, but my son Milo is going to fish at Asco Angler. And they say that he's practicing. He said, no, he's working. He'll be here tomorrow. I said, he'll be here tomorrow, Wednesday, to fish uh, Thursday. And uh, no, he's going to be here this evening to because he has to register, right? But he won't get no practice. And I was uh, surprised because I told him, I don't know what he's going to be doing, <laughs> to be honest, because he don't know a bunch of techniques. So when I saw him in the evening, and say, Milo, okay, so what, what's your plan? He say, what you been doing? Daddy, I say, I don't know, it's been tough. Nearly handled, it's been real tough. And he says, well, I bring these lures with me. And he showed me a jig, okay? He says, I got this jig. It was a green pumpkin and chartreuse, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, so? He say, I just gonna be flipping this jig. I say, no bad idea. So I was laughing because I said, we'll see what he's going to be doing. I don't think he ever fished grass before. So when we coming back to the weigh-in, I said, Milo, how you do today? He said, I got my limit. And I was like, really? <laughs> it really surprised me. How you catch a fish? With my cheek. <laughs> it was excited. It was excited because I was like, well, he beat me. I make a mistake, I run to the wise uh, dam. I, on practice, they run in water. I was, I was catching them on a crime bait. So my tournament day, I run over there and they, what happened to the current? <laughs> they didn't open the dam to lake. I get too big drums. But well, that's fishing. So the second day, I catch some fish. I catch one good one, almost four pounder. And I say, well, how you do Milo the second day? He says, I got it, daddy. <laughs> How many you got? How many pounds? Seven something. On two days? Today. Mm -hmm. uh, but how many fish you got the second day? One. He only got, yeah, he come out with one fish, but he lost two. two. Doing the same thing, turn the jig, right? So uh, 
I got real surprised, and uh, I mean, I, I, I'm real proud of my boy Melo. Uh, that's this is his first year bass fishing, and he already he already won two checks. Okay, one for the big fish last month. Nelly Henry, he got a four pounder. How big is Melo? Four, four even. Yeah, four pound even. He got the big fish in the tournament, and this past week um, he finished ninth, and it's not easy compete with a bunch of co anglers and I was real I'm real proud of my boy and I hope he keep focused. We have to work so hard and he has to too to fish big one time. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much to all my customers from two amigos. Thank you so much my good Lord because he gives everything on the name Jesus. Thank you.